All right, Mike, well, congratulations on the win. But before we get to you, I think we should talk to the star of the week. And this is uh, that is your cornerman, right? Your one and only cornerman. Why don't you uh, introduce us to her? Uh, what's up, everybody? You already know. Y'all been talking plenty trash about us on social media. The queen, LaTori <laughs> Gonzalez, bow down, bro. We the winners tonight. Mike, when did you make this decision that LaTori was going to be your one and only cornerman tonight? Oh, man. Um, I guess a few months ago when we started dating, um, I knew I was going to get ready for a fight and I didn't, I knew I wanted to do it by myself and I wanted to give her, you know, I told her a couple years ago that I wanted to give her this experience and bring her into the corner when I first met her and, um, you know, life went other ways, but you know, I, I saw it in my head and I made it come to fruition and uh, here we are as winners, as champions of the night. Yep. Latoya, what was your reaction years ago when he said he wanted to give you that experience? I was ready for it, and I've been waiting for this for years. So it was a fun experience, and I'm looking forward to being in there again. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that already decided that this will be? I mean, you're undefeated, um, right? So yeah, next yeah. One? absolutely. I mean, hey, who knows if we keep it? Uh, you know what I mean? We we finish as champions and. We're going to go find uh, a place uh, near the beach to hang out, drink Mai Tais, do some Mai Tai, and uh, find some teammates. We'll see if I find two that can fill the other empty slots, and uh, some a third would have to be very valuable in order to replace my baby. But I do believe that, you know, if they bring the stands back and the fans, that she would look great in the front row in a pretty little dress cheering for me. Yeah. Latori, how would you characterize your level of knowledge of mixed martial arts? Um, well, I wrestled for seven years. I wrestled all throughout high school and then when I was younger. And then I trained at a boxing gym. So I'm not much um, martial arts, I guess. I've never like done any competitions. But um, we winners tonight, baby. Yeah, that's all it matters. You just went in there with your boy, <laughs> and we handled business with yeah. in the best organization in the world. She went in there tonight as an undefeated coach, and she stayed undefeated. Let's go. <laughs> Latoya, were you nervous about anything going into this? Yes, I was very nervous, but it was good. What were you nervous about? <laughs> um, just watching him fight and seeing blood, and I didn't want to see him get hit in the face so what did you think once it started going through the fight like after the first round um and I was bleeding a little and yeah, what did you think my heart was racing a bit but I knew you were gonna beat him so it was good <laughs> so did you ever feel like maybe you were gonna give him some type of advice or was that never gonna happen tonight I mean I did kind of give him some advice I was telling him to keep his hands up I, and heard to, <laughs> I, heard I kept telling I him just there. to hit him so Hit him again, my advice baby. worked well. It was good. <laughs> Mike, what was the biggest difference for you but this this experience compared to other ones when you've had a traditional corner? Um, I'd have to say the training camp. Um, I let my body rest. I didn't I didn't let anybody tell me that I needed to be working when I knew I needed to be resting. And I didn't let anybody tell me, you know, to rest when I knew I needed to work. Like I did a lot of rest for this. It almost, some people might say I didn't even train for this. But um, you could just look at my physique uh, based on the way I look. And I had a gas tank in there, so you know what I mean? I'm, resting makes me so strong. I'm one of the strongest dudes naturally out there. I believe that I can take a shot and I can give a better shot. So um, it worked out, and it's back to the drawing board. Just like the past, you know what I mean? Got to gotta move forward, take the lessons as they come to us. It's going to be bigger, better competition next time, and we'll be ready for them too. I'm a dangerous fighter, and everybody, all the athletes out there know it. So I can hit anybody at any time, and I can take anybody's shot. So we'll see. Ain't nobody put me on my back tonight. Um, so they don't know what's going to happen if they do. Have you guys had the chance to open up social media yet and see what the reactions are? Oh man, uh, she I she have. was saying a little <laughs> bit, people blowing her up. You know, I don't. Most people don't hit you up most of the time. A lot of people trying to contact me today. A lot of people try to hit me up maybe this week. I just turned my phone on and it exploded. Um, 
and I don't know any of the numbers that are texting me. None of them are saved in my phone. I don't, um, I don't really care. Uh, you know, there's, there's close family that I'm happy that I won tonight because I know that they're genuinely happy for me. But uh, other than that, you know what I mean, this is, I do this for me and her. I do this for us, and uh, I was successful tonight, and we're going to enjoy our lives together, and we're going to build on our future together. And um, most of y'all ain't going to be able to, you ain't going to be allowed in, bro. Like, I don't, I don't mess with y'all. Y'all just want to take my time, and, like, I got no time for y'all. I got time for myself and for her, and, you know, she's got a lot of friends, but she's learning. She's learning as you get older, like, people really be fake. People really be fake, bro, and I really don't trust nobody. So um, it's just me and her, like I said, all week long. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep it pushing. Don't get it wrong. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to, if you want to say hello or whatever, you know, really, I don't, I don't really want to take pictures with people no more because I just don't believe people no more. Everybody's online saying all types of derogatory things and saying inappropriate things and unnecessary things and you think you're safe behind that keyboard and it's not fair it's not fair to me and it makes me want to get rid of my social media or i just you know i turned off my comments because i want to leave behind you know pictures of me and her and the and the life we're building together and as a winner in the ufc with her and and like this is what i want and i got you know what i mean like i got me and my queen bro that's that's it and i'm gonna protect her with my life and you ain't gonna get close to us Nobody. Mike, when do you think we'll see you again? Today, tomorrow, <laughs> next month. I don't know, bro. Like, I'm, I'm going to get back to, I'm going to go chill a little bit. I ain't going to front. I want to get to the beach. I got some things I got to handle outside of fighting, outside of training. Um, I'll always be ready to fight, though. So let them call, talk about going to Dubai, going to the island. We built for the island, man. We ready for the island. We're going to go. We're going to fight. We're going to show up. And we're going to put paws on people. So, uh, you know what I mean? It is what it is. I'm going to handle my business outside. I got debts. I got bills. I got things I got to do for us. And we're going to handle that. And, uh, you know, I'll be waiting for the call. The, my managers know what's up. They know they can call me and we can show up to fight any given time. Mike, last question, and this is just a personal one. Would you ever consider reaching out to the Diaz brothers to, to, to work out? It seems like you two would have a similar philosophy. Man, um, I mean, I, I, she likes California, but, like, it's kind of – we like Florida, too. Um, South Florida's got a lot of good guys. I kind of want to work with Yoel Romero. I want to uh, – I want to get some beef inside of myself to feel that 185-pound – weight class I want to learn how to fight one of the best guys there so that I could fight uh, uh, a middleweight Englishman you know what I'm saying you know who I'm talking about I want to fight that guy he doesn't deserve to have his name come out of my mouth he's a despicable person and um, I want I, I can't lie I'm not that big uh, I need to feel that I do want to train with Yoel Romero. He knows I want to come out there. We got the same management team, him and Jorge Masvidal. Uh, obviously, you know, there's potential matchups. I could fight any man on this planet, so it really doesn't matter. But if I go train with somebody, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just want to get better so that I can build for us and uh, platinum martial arts, you know what I mean? I know I got to look out and go find some more experience and it's time for that now. We want to do that. We want to. We probably coming to Miami, bro. To be honest with you, so I look forward to training with, with Yoel. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the win tonight. Thanks. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.